I'd like you to close your eyes. Imagine that you are on a ship. You are on the ocean. You feel the wind in your hair. You hear the birds screaming. It is warm, the sun is shining. It's nice. Someone asks you if you like to have a drink. Would you like to have champagne, wine, lemonade for the children? Because they aren't allowed to drink wine. It's nice. You can open your eyes now. Did you enjoy? My children like it to be on a boat too. They are nine and ten years old. And sometimes in the holiday we go on a ship, we are sailing, we are going f uh, to an isle, and they enjoy it. And that evening we come at home and we watch the television, the news. And at the television we see boats too, but it are a different type of boats. The boats are full of men, women, children, and they are in danger. It are refugees, for example, from Syria. I uh, watched the television and I didn't like that situation and I liked to do something about it. And I thought to myself, what can I do? Many people say they are for fortune seekers, they are terrorists. What can we do? It is their problem. I uh, looked at the situation and I found out that one of the problems is oil. The war in Syria is about oil also. And we are using the oil too, so it isn't only their problem, it is also our problem. And I wanted to help the people. I sent blankets to the refugee camp. I, uh, I am writing and painting, so I sent also pencils. I sent clothes, but I thought I'd like to do more. And with my co-author, Elsbeth de Jager, we wrote a book. A book for the children in the refugee camps, because those children have a lot of traumas. They have been in the war. Uh, they have heard the bombs, their cities are ruined, and they have uh, been in a lot of situations I don't want children to be in. I s told you already, my children are nine and ten years old. I really don't want my children to be in war. That's terrible. This is the book. The first one is uh, Jamila and Jamila. The second one is Jamila and Jamila Heimwee. Uh, this book is also translated in Arabic, of course, and sent to the refugee camp in Syria and near the Syrian border. My co-author Elsbind and I, we went to the Syrian border to bring the books. We told to the children, we told to the teacher, because we wanted the book to help them with their traumas. With the book, they could paint, they could read it. The children in the refugee camps uh, couldn't read anymore, they can't count anymore, they don't know the colors anymore, and this book can help them with normal things. And I'm not talking about little kids from four years old. No, I'm talking about kids nine, ten years old, who can't count, who don't know the colors. I can't imagine that children uh, can't count anymore and don't know the colors. So this book helps. We went there, and the children were very happy because it brought them hope that someone on the earth thinks about them. And this is one of the pictures uh, we made there with the children and with Elsbeth. I was happy to do that. Then they asked me for another project. Uh, the refugee camps uh, consist of a lot of tents. In the winter, it's very cold. In the summer, summer it's very hot. No, in autumn, there's a lot of water also in the tents and also in the school. Uh, they asked me to paint, uh, to illustrate walls of big containers that should be used as um, school in the refugee camp. But 
I know nothing of not very much about Syria. I've once been in Israel, but that's a different kind of uh, si uh, country. So I googled, and what I saw was this, only ruins. I thought that would not be very nice to illustrate containers in with this, uh, these paintings. So I looked on and I found also some monuments in Syria. At that moment, the monuments still exist. This is Palmyra. You know that it is bombed also. This is one of the illustrations I made on the containers with Syrian refugees. I went again to the border with uh, Syria to paint with uh, the refugees on the containers. It was uh, a lot of work, but it was very nice and it brought the people there together. It, uh, they were alone, but with my help, it was a team painting together and making that containers for a school. And now, this is this was when it was finished, and now these containers are in use in a refugee camp in Syria. And I'm very happy with it. So when you want to do something, it is possible. It doesn't have to be big. It can also be small parts. And I think we have to do it because I don't want kids to be in a war. My opinion is that kids are, must have to be allowed to be kids. They have to play. Children, we can help the children to educate, and we can help the children to give them peace. Thank you.